morning all of you this is mithali agrawal public relation officer at it hyderabad we all of us seeing lot of series on amazon hotstar and netflix so why thought why not we be behind and we are going to launch one very interesting series using a youtube called iith hum as hum h stand for hyderabad and hum stand for what is a uh, the unity in iith community and to start with like uh, any web se- uh, series we are going to have seasons we are going to have episodes and then to start with we are going to have a season 1 with very adorable animes of iit hyderabad under hashtag alumni diary and to start with we have with us a very special guest of today dr anish k sharma who is currently the technical director of ecil hyderabad now to start with and without taking a time i am uh, request uh, dr anish uh, to tell us something about himself sir welcome to you and thanks a lot to be a part of this inaugural uh, episode of the series welcome sir thank you very much and it is a great uh, joyous moment that we are starting this web series uh, with iit hyderabad With regard to myself, uh, basically I am a defense R and D scientist uh, from DRDO. Before joining the director technical at ECL Hyderabad, I was leading two important programs of missile in India. Briefly, if I say that uh, I was project director for the naval anti ship missile, which is called NSMSR. The main important part of this missile program is that it is fully indigenous missile. for our indian navy and this is very effective in its domain when it comes to the performance and we have conducted a very successful trial in may 2022 which proves the control algorithm of this missile so this was my last assignment and before that i was associate project director for mrsam it's a joint venture development with iia israel it's a medium range surface to air missile of the range of 70 km and this missile program has been very successful we have completed the r&d phase missile is under production and this will be deployed at various classified sites of the country coming back now at current i am director technical at ecil it is electronics corporation of india under the department of atomic energy being director technical i am heading all the verticals of ecil that is nuclear defense it governance homeland security and aerospace divisions so this is my brief profile uh, with respect to my career wonderful sir it is very pleasing to know that such a decorated person uh, we are proud to say is our alumni and uh, then sir what made you to come to it hyderabad see uh, iit hyderabad is very reputed institute when i talk way back in 2010 when i joined iit it was not in permanent campus but still uh, when i met the faculty when i interacted with the faculty because i basically come from the semiconductor background so when i interacted with the faculty uh, which was already working in this domain i was really impressed and i thought let me join this reputed institute with the under the mentorship of this very able uh, faculty that is why i landed into iit hyderabad very interesting sir i think so um, uh, as i came to know that you had done a PA, completed phd from iit hyderabad in year 2013 and i think so now you had a great vision that now india in 2022 is talking about the semiconductor mission in a very big way so what is a, as you already told so the i think so the most favorite subject you enjoyed in iit hyderabad might be the under the semiconductor but anything specific which you enjoyed studying at iit hyderabad because a phd first year if i'm not wrong is a course work that's very interesting point what you have asked for see uh, as a country india we have really missed the bus of semiconductor manufacturing though there were attempts uh, basically my first job started with semiconductor complex limited chandigarh but uh, this is a very dynamic technology which keeps changing time to time dynamically so a good pace is required to match with the technology advancement but somehow there was a lag in our country we could not catch up the bus last time 
but yes at present government is really taking care of it and i hope that now there is a time that india should venture into semiconductor manufacturing which is going to change because any electronic circuits any missile any other uh, device which needs to be developed today needs all semiconductor devices it could be processors it could be ic's it could be controllers so we can't be self reliant unless we get into the semiconductor manufacturing coming back to your question i would like to say that vrsi technology was my favorite subject and i enjoyed it very much uh, especially i have worked in mmics and ic's so no doubt this is my this was my favorite subject i am getting nostalgic but just to share with you i am also an electronic engineer not great like you so i was a happen to study the vlsi i was having choice to take vlsi as my master but i love numbers i went with the digital communication signal oh processing. really very so good it is very quite uh, interesting to know about you that how the things are evolving because i remember when i have taken a branch of electronics and communication people told me that it doesn't have a future it is a branch if you want to go to electrical you can take it if you want to go to computer science you can take it or it is a something which give you a balance or a liberty to go to any field but uh, now i think so as you said i think so we can say hashtag semiconductor for self reliant as yes. far as now so um, other than this sir uh, i know the phd is quite uh, um, uh, if uh, there's a lot of efforts involved while doing a, a phd and a research but by any chance you could involve yourself in any activities at it hyderabad i enjoyed the uh, sports days sometimes uh, out of my schedule and i remember attending some conference uh, with respect to the uh, uh, it was mainly due on the semiconductor manufacturing and simulations so i remember those things which i have involved as you mentioned the sports days sir so what is your favorite sports if i can ask uh i am not a very great sportsman but i follow cricket basically oh so that is i think the favorite game in india so um, uh, as i think so do, you don't need any kind of training but still anything you enjoyed uh, uh, getting a hands on experience working in iit hyderabad like uh, with my experience with something like pcb designing or circuit designing or anything which is a part of vlsi uh, not really the pcb design and etc but we could have some open discussions which were uh, on the technology and uh, by discussion we get into various ideas so that was very good in the department that we used to interact in open sessions which brought out many uh, aspects of the technology understanding any of the uh, faculties you still remember sir uh, from your journey at it hyderabad you would like to yeah definitely uh, i have my mentor dr shiv govin and uh, professor asudev uh, datta uh, these two i remember very fondly uh, professor Sh uh, shiv gon singh was la during covid has come with the interesting test kit for a mm. covid uh, test at home so uh, how this uh, journey and the education at it hyderabad is helping you in your current role or journey thereafter sir uh, as i told that i basically come from the uh, missile background but when i reached to director technical at ecil nowadays i am dealing a lot with semiconductor devices but not as a manufacturing but as a user so uh, this makes me uh, giving good insight into the latest part of the technology as well how to plan a design and development with respect to the new requirements Okay, sir. So, um, any special moment you recall out of your life at IIT Hyderabad? Yeah, I do recall a very special moment for me. Uh, actually, I was given Academic Ex Excellence Award of oh. two thousand twelve. Uh, so this is what I very uh, fondly remember, and I remember recall the memories, very sweet memories. Yeah, and I think it is a you are a true deserver of that. Uh, apart from that, sir, what is the message you want to give to the young? And uh, obviously, the, the campus is quite young. Even our faculty age uh, is uh, thirty eight years, uh, thirty seven to thirty eight years. So, what is the message you would like to give from your such a vast and uh, um, very strong foundation uh, to our uh, students, sir, current students? See, uh, uh, IIT. 
Hyderabad has grown very fast in its ranking and its reputation. That is one part. Second part is what I see the each and every faculty of IIT Hyderabad is so talented, so capable, and academically they are very sound. So I would say that the students who are doing their courses, maybe BTEC, MTEC, or PhD, they are very lucky to be in IIT Hyderabad. So they should try to excel. And I'm sure when they go out in the field, I mean field, when I say that they, they go out after passing out to the industry or to the academia and all that, I'm sure they are going to do excel in their fields. Uh, excellent, sir, because uh, nowadays uh, people are having a lot of uh, uh, interim mindset for anything. So people like you saying that they are at a very lucky place. I hope uh, that this will boost uh, their morale, that they are at a right place. Now rest is in their hand to go in a right way. Uh, so um, uh, what do you think so that IIT Hyderabad you praised a lot, but still can improve on, sir? Recently, I have attended one uh, alumni program uh, with Director Murthy, Professor Murthy was also there. And uh, they are starting open sessions, uh, open classrooms, which gives a liberty to the students to attend even remotely also. So that's a good beginning. And uh, see, being alumni of IIT Hyderabad, I don't find any suggestions that it, should, it is already a very good institute. No, you are really a very true alumni, sir. As you say that you don't find uh, fault in your babies and your, your parents or your relatives. So you are really a very connected alumni, I, could, I can say that way. Uh, so uh, I think to build upon your special moment, another special moment is you are getting uh, this year uh, alumni award for doing under the contribution towards the nation building, sir. So what is your uh, um, um, like take on that, sir? I'm very much honored and uh, I would say that uh, IIT Hyderabad has given me a good break with respect to uh, my PhD, which has helped me in shaping my career. And this award definitely is going to get me more recognition in the field of technology. We are uh, really honored, sir. You are categorizing our award as uh, something which can uh, add uh, something to your decorated already uh, profile. Uh, so, uh, being such a established alumni of IIT Hathra, uh, what is the one thing you would like to contribute to the give back to your alma mater, sir? See, uh, I'm already part of many conferences being organized. And uh, at ECIL also, we are having a joint collaboration uh, with respect to 5G technology development part. And very recently, uh, we are going to have a joint team from IIT Hyderabad, which is being led by a director of IIT Hyderabad. And we are going to discuss the various technological collaborations which can we can take up because industry needs a lot of support from the academia. It could be simulation, it could be design, it could be analysis part, which really helps to the industry, which we may lack some time due to paucity or expertise. So we are going to have a lot of collaborations with IIT Hyderabad, and this chapter is going to begin soon. It's right on this month. 19th itself, I'm going to have this big team from IIT Hyderabad. That is a really something good, sir, because uh, uh, everything, it counts. And sometimes this kind of a relation building is, I think so you are expert of, uh, go really miles. And uh, once uh, everything is uh, in a sink, I think so, uh, as it is very well said by many prominent people that you should work on your efforts. The mm -hmm. result will automatically follow. So thanks a lot. I think so one special connection which IIT Hyderabad uh, is getting benefited. You being our uh, alumni will definitely add uh, value to this collaboration because obviously uh, your coziness with the IITH will definitely give us one edge over uh, 
uh, ECIL and ITH um, uh, building a very strong bond. So what is the last message if you want to say one uh, caption for uh, this episode, you would like to give a message to the fellow alumni ITH, uh, what you would like to give, sir? When it comes to me, I would say that ECIL and IIT both are in Hyderabad. It's a very good connect. So distance, though it doesn't matter when we talk about uh, collaborations, but still being close by located, there can be a well knit between the two institutes. And I, the same way I would hope that other alumni of this institute we definitely connect in terms of their technical collaborations or in terms of their entrepreneurship. So I wish everybody a very good, all the best. So on the last, sir, anyone getting inspired after seeing this particular wonderful interview of you? So how they can contact you if someone wants to? I'm easily approachable. I have my uh, email ID, which is already registered with the Institute. My phone numbers are also there. So I don't find, uh, I mean, uh, I'm very open to all connects. This is what. Thanks a lot, sir. It was wonderful talking to you and I'm sure it will fuel uh, some extra energy in the young energetic campus of IIT Hyderabad. And uh, we look forward to meet you on this alumni day, which is uh, on December 18. And uh, again, share, uh, be witnessing your uh, Special moment at IT Hyderabad, sir. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, sir.